Hey guys, I'm just doing some experiments on some uh, water slides that you can get for like your tumblers and stuff. Um, these are just some scraps that were left over from a class I took at CultureCon. And so I was thinking that, you know, I want to take some of those home and do some experiments and see if I can stamp on it, see if I can use, you know, pens on it. So here I am using some Stazon ink and this is a permanent ink. I just grabbed a stamp and, you know, I just wanted to try it on a little spot to see if it worked without, you know, using up a whole thing. But we're going to try this. So this is the end of the little hat, and this is stamped with stays on permanent ink. And then this is just a little squiggly line I drew on with a pen and gear permanent marker. Um, probably Sharpie or whatever might work, but we're going to try this and just see if it works. So, but, you know, I don't, we'll just see. We'll just see. I'm just curious. I think it's I think it's ready. I'll just grab this little box here. Thought we could try it and see. Okay. Well what I'm seeing is that it works. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Is that what you guys are seeing? I don't have any on my towel. I'm going to rub it. Rub it just to see if any of it's going to come off. Oops. And then I uh, then I rubbed it too much and wrinkled it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's just rub that back down gently. I wasn't holding on. But uh, the ink stays on for sure. Check it out, guys. So, um, you know, once you seal that in... Um, yeah, I think right now I could probably scratch it. I mean, it's not dry, so obviously I could scratch it, but, um, but yeah, you can, you can kind of scruff it up if you haven't sealed it with anything yet, but, uh, it works. I'm looking forward to trying that out on some different things. Um, what do you guys think? Have you done this before? Have you tried it? Let me know. So um, this is the Sunny Scopa Thick uh, um, Water Slide. And this is for um, laser jet uh, printers. Um, this is not the inkjet printers. It's not the thin stuff. This is the thick stuff. I just want to let you guys know. And you can find that in the links in the description box below. Okay, so I did peel this off just to see, you know, and there is just the faintest hint, the faintest hint of that ink around the edges where that was. You couldn't see it when this was down, but when I pulled it off, you do have just a little bit. But I didn't wait very long after I stamped this and wrote with it, so maybe I just needed to let it set for longer. But anyway, I just wanted you guys to be aware of that that possibility, so um, if you if you're rubbing, the, the ink could come off and kind of smudge around the edges. But just so very, 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 very lightly. I mean, it's almost, you almost can't tell. But you can kind of see where the decal was, or the slide was. So, anyway, y'all keep that in mind when you're working with this stuff. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Alright, so I'm just going to make up this little keychain, little tumbler keychain here. And I'm going to try this out with this little rabbit stamp because it's going to fit pretty nicely there and yeah that's going to be cute um so i'm just going to make up one real quick with some uv resin <music> Practice one, and I'll do the regular. Oh, 
Awesome. And I am using the stays on. And this is um, water slide. keep wanting to say inkjet, that's why I'm pausing every time. <laughs> it's laser jet water slide, um, so it's going to work really well with the um, permanent inks. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit before we try to use it. Okay, so I'm just going to add another layer, but I think this time I'm going to use the white UV resin on the back. Clean some of this glitter off first. because it's hot so if you um, have a um, UV resin item that comes out of your um, light hot and it's warped if you press it down on a cool surface and keep it held down until it cools you can pull that warp out of it it's just bowed because of the heat um, and if it, you have a thicker substance thicker um, thicker piece it can bow but if you hold it down on a cool surface until it cools you know then you've got it and you've got it um, you can keep it flat <laughs> Enough, and now I'm just going to cover it with some um, clear UV and we'll well that's the finished product and I you know it definitely worked and it's super cute really like it that is adorable so yeah that works um, any kind of um, permanent stamp ink and you know just your water slide scraps you can use up any of those extra pieces and bits that you might have lying around you can make keychains jewelry all kinds of small things with that extra scrap you got left lying around so you know when you print on a piece and you got you know a section that big that's plenty big enough to stamp something on and uh, uh, do something with so don't toss that away go ahead and reuse it so awesome thanks for watching you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video